Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today I'm going to be playing a new game on the channel. This is the demo for Songs of Silence, which is made available during Steam Next Fest. Uh, it's been on my wish list. I thought it looks pretty interesting. It's uh, some sort of strategy stroke auto battler type game. I don't know a huge amount about it other than the fact it looked pretty cool. So I'm going to dive straight into the campaign and find out some more. Got a world map. I will never forget the last days of Erengard. The day the Purgatory came. The day our homeland was devoured by silence. The day everything turned to dust. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Looks like I can play Saint's stuff. Was relentless. A war without end. What have we got here. My parents led our armies in a final desperate charge against the invaders. The tide of battle soon turned against them. Kind of waiting to be told what to do. Either to save them or to perish by their side. Why do we do that? I don't know what I just did. Okay, yeah. I think that's like a preview of what the battles look like. We didn't Only really have much effect. <laughs> to protect the survivors of our once mighty kingdom. But in my darkest hours, doubt took hold. How can I lead these people? Where to? Am I really worthy to be their queen? In my moment of despair, Art style looks lovely. a golden light appeared from above. It was Isla, a holy celestial bird who had once guided my mother. I hear you, faithful guardian. Please, show us the way. And so Queen Lorelei of Erengard sets forth to lead her subjects towards an uncertain future. In the distant realm of Elbin, she hopes to meet Lord Hauser, a loyal friend of her late father, who is now serving as cleric and aide to Elbin's monarch. Surely the old man will understand her plight. I feel like I recognize the narrator's voice. At long last, the people of Erengard arrive at their destination. Yet something seems off. Elbin's roads, fields, and villages are deserted, and the air is rent with the sound of battle. Look, everyone! Isla has found Elbin's capital. If we make haste, we could be there on the morrow. Okay, uh, moving armies, left click to select, right click to move or attack, uh, you can set waypoints with shift, uh, you have movement points, uh, marching, moving more than 50% of the max movement points puts an army into a marching formation until the next turn, attacking a marching army leads to an ambush, are, are ambush or being ambushed? Okay, well, I th let's not do all the tutorials now. Let's do them as they become relevant to us. What's this? Realm Builder. Play on a friendly location to add a permanent high house building. As long as the high house remains on the location, it increases the income by five gold. Well, let's not do that now. We're probably going to get to that. So we're just going to... Let's set some waypoints. Let's try and follow the sort of path of the road a little bit. Oh, let's go there for now. Uh... Do I end the turn to, to make it happen, or...? No, we right-click. There we go. Oh, okay, so we've got an army. Alright, how we fight? 
Battles run automatically, yes, yeah, so it's an auto battler. Make sure to set up your units in favorable positions for ha beforehand so we get like a setup phase. Uh, we can retreat, uh, and you, then you play battle cards. Alright, yeah, kind of get that. Drag and drop to set formations. You can play recruitment cards to build strong armies. Okay, let's not, let's not as I said, let's not move ahead too far on, on this stuff until we, we know what we're doing. Uh, Freedland Outcasts. All right. Melvin is under our control. Surrender at once. I guess, I guess we're not going to surrender. Oh. I can pause. Uh, I actually don't have any of my cards charged yet, so let's just wait till those are available. Um, what have we got here? So we've got nightly charge, not playable when the battle is paused. <laughs> hey. At least we can read the cards. Uh, all cavalry units thunder into the designated area, attacking all enemies in their way with five power. Okay, so they're currently our cavalry is currently here. Uh, smashes a celestial meteor into the target area, attacking all enemies with a power five attack and pushing them away. Surviving enemies are stunned. So that might be a good one to play here. Can I play that now? Seems not. And let's play our nightly charge uh, on... Oh, they're running away. Oh no, they're doing a nightly charge themselves. Well, I've moved out of the way almost accidentally. I mean, it looks like we're going to win this fairly easily, so... I still haven't got this one. Oh, that's a retreat card. Yeah, we didn't want to do that. Elbin is at war? So, we gained some gold XP towards a level. A cold shiver runs down Lorelei's back. She came here for safe shelter. What will become of her people now? Okay, so they are removed. I have to hurry. The capital might be in danger. Uh, so oh, we've run out of movement points, so we can just uh, these are these are the turns. So let's end our turn. Scroll speed's quite twitchy. I'm just, maybe you can... Uh, let's just see if you can alter that. That's just audio settings. Oh no, I exited. <laughs> can I go back? Can I go back in? I thought I was exiting these settings. Uh, I will never forget okay, the last I'll get back to where we were. And we're back. Learned a few valuable things. Number one, the game doesn't autosave. Uh, so I've <laughs> created a manual save. Number two, the cutscenes and stuff are unskippable. Uh, which is all quite good knowledge. So we, okay, so we clicked on our army, we've selected it, we, we need to get into Elbin, so let's just, uh, let's just click on that directly. Wandering through the desolate streets of Elbin. Lorelei experiences the all too familiar sensation. I feel like he's narrated another game. In the air, a young, anxious looking guard meets her at the castle gates and escorts her to the throne room for an audience with Hauser. After a moment's contemplation, the old man lowers his mirrored mask, revealing a weary yet sincere smile. Our country is at war and King Atron is trapped behind enemy lines. It pains me to deny our support. But we cannot grant you sanctuary while our very survival is at stake, milady. I am sorry, old man. I have grown weary of fighting. I will help you liberate your sovereign, but that's all I can do. Thank you, milady. The enemy has surrounded the king at Doran Citadel. At your command. So, can we merge armies or something? How, how does that work? Okay, so we've, I've got through these ones. Uh, well, in that first fight, I didn't, I didn't get a setup phase. Maybe that'll be introduced. It might be that he's those that new unit's going to be a, a recruitment card, possibly. Uh, conquered locations, blah, blah blah blah. I don't think that we didn't conquer that that city. And XP, level up. 
Siege, ambush. Yeah, what's the ambush thing? Attack a besieging army to ambush it. Ambushed enemies are in disarray and suffer penalties to their combat power. Okay. Moving on to hit into hidden armies or attacking a marching army also results in an ambush. Move carefully. Okay, so yeah, so ambush works both ways. You know, we ideally, unless we know there's no enemies around us, we don't do all our movement points. Some locations have a supply pack. Units in locations with supply will regenerate health. So health isn't uh, regenerated after battle then. Okay. So for this, if we left click on this, Silberstein. What do we get? We get a card which is build up. Uh, once only playable once the prosperity point meter is completely filled. Is it? Is it filled now? I guess it, I guess it's not. I don't know what the prosperity means. So this guy at a temple building. As long as the temple tower remains the location. See, I don't know why. Well, but obviously we have the gold and resources, and I think the plus amounts are probably per turn gains. Three of five mean is that units in his army. Okay, let's scout ahead with these guys. Okay, so we have a hostile army there. This this army thinks it's an easy win. What if I click on that? Can't hover to kind of see. It says two garrison units, and we've got three in this army. Uh, but with our with our main army. She's only got five movement left. We go literally around the city like this. Okay, so that's going to take a little while. Uh, okay, well, it's, uh, he thinks it's an easy win, so let's attack. Just gonna pause while we have a look at the lay of the land. Again, didn't get a setup phase. So we have a retreat card and we have a divine intervention. Summon two luminance, whatever they are. Okay. Angelic support units. Chasing them around. Okay, they've retreated. And they've won. Got some gold, got some XP. So they, they, they level up separately. Wounded and tired, Hauser commemorates those who didn't live to see the end of the battle. Their sacrifices will not be forgotten. It would be nice if we could see kind of, uh, you know, wins and losses in terms of unit numbers. It says it was a hard-fought hard -fought battle, but I'd like to know, you know, how many did we lose? I should have been there. I'm glad you weren't. Nobody survived that day. Nobody but me. I don't know what this is. Be cautious, Neutral army. We can't afford to lose your bloodline. Okay, well, we can, apparently we've still got a movement point here. Do we, do we go into the city? Is that... Maybe next Maybe next turn. Uh, maybe maybe we have to go into the... It looks like we're having trouble going around anyway. Hurry up. The king is counting on us. All right. Yeah, we can go in the city. Uh, we could build this now. Uh, play on a friendly location. Right, let's play it there. So we've got a new tower now that's going to uh, give us five, an extra five gold per turn, which I think the bridge is also adding to that. 
does a little bit of a sort of 4x game as well, it feels like. Okay, well, we can move through the city now, which will uh, help our speed anyway. Probably have to go across the Let's move these guys first. Can't build the other thing now. I'm going to bring him over to this neutral army and see what that's all about. No, I don't necessarily want to fight them. Let's let's just go to the siege. Bring. Oh. Why, why are we doing that? Maybe you can set up a garrison in there to protect against sieges and stuff. Um, I want to, I, I want to launch, I want to do an ambush next turn. So let's just go there for now. This dude, this dude. Let's bring up a bit as well. Okay, let's leave that there. We have to focus on saving him. And you worry. <clears throat> okay, so let's um, let's go do this. Okay, just got a quick save, so not save. Pause. So again, we've got our celestial meteor and then our cavalry charge. Okay, so those are like persistent abilities that our army has, but they kind of get on with it anyway, even without those. I'm going to take down that siege. And let's smash into these guys. They seem to function more like a spell, so it kind of like happens instantly rather than them sort of moving across the battlefield to charge. I definitely want to get rid of that. Maybe we should charge it with cavalry. Taking some heavy losses. I think, uh, well, it looks like we're going to win, mostly thanks to the cavalry. Oof, heavy losses. We have leveled up. Though superior in numbers, the invaders cannot compete with Erengard and Elbin's combined will to survive. Now the real battle begins. So we've, yeah, we've lost some units. Uh, what what is our? Hang on. I am forever in your debt, but alas, I must request your assistance one more time. I'm not here to fight. All I want is a new home for my people. And you shall have it once you help me end this war. Then I will oblige, but only for the sake of House Arangard. Hauser, Queen Lorelei will need your support. Go. Attack the enemy capital at once. At your command. Once known as the proudest city in southern Mundus, Friedland's capital, Sternsicht, has fallen into decay after many years of war. From the royal spire's highest battlement, the duchy's aging matriarch, Raduin, addresses Lorelei and Hauser in a grave voice. Friedland must live! So here we have, le oh okay, we've got level up card. Play this on the army to, to do that. Let's do that. Get a new card. Uh, bestow Knight here. Play on a friendly Hearthsworn unit to turn it into a powerful unit of Honor Guard. Cost some resources. What is this one? Divine Favor. Uh, call reserves. Call a random unit from your army reserves onto the battlefield, running towards the position indicated by your card placement. All friendly cavalry units thunder into the designated area. So I've already... Oh, that's an upgrade from 5 to... Well, let's get a new card. Maybe we could... This is a map card, so presumably we can just level up a, one of our units. 
Army capacity, up. As Lorelei's strength grows, so does the trust of the people. True leadership can inspire a noble house for many generations to come. Okay. So if we take these guys, um, we should be able to combine them into a single army now, it feels like. No. We can see they're healing. We might want to give that a turn to heal. These guys. Can we go in here? Right, so this is a drag and drop type situation, isn't it? We can recruit for 90 gold. Uh, so who, what, what is Hearth, Hearthsworn? That's Honor Guard. Friendly Hearthsworn. I don't think it applies to any of my current ones. Can we, we? Yeah, okay, let's combine these then. Can I bring Hauser in? No. Let's keep them separate, because he's kind of got his own thing going on. Um, okay, let's try this. Let's... Uh, heavily armoured, but slow foot knights. So we probably want them on the, on the front lines. Let's keep our cavalry on the flanks. One per turn, okay. Um, I don't suppose they're... Oh! Okay, so we don't have Hearthsworn. I think we're going to want to be like Garrison here for a couple of turns to like get our health up and maybe get a couple more uh, infantry units in. So let's... Uh... Yeah, we don't have enough units to have reserves at the moment. I feel like that would be bad. What's down here? We could try, we could try maybe uh, taking them on. There's easy win. Let's give it a go. He's out of movement points. Okay, so that's our turn. But what's this? This has got a garrison of Landver. Oh, we could have recruited Hearthsworn here. Let's do that. Into the into the garrison. And maybe we can bring these guys up. Maybe they have to have a commander. Well, what we could perhaps do is bring Hauser down to grab these guys and um, bring them back up to here while they're still healing it in, in there. I mean, I think they... Oh, no. Yeah, so they, they're going to need a little while to heal up, but we can... Uh, so this will be six of seven, so let's get these guys in. So I think they must replenish uh, by being on a friendly square. That's good. We don't have the material still for that. We will next turn. Uh, but let's come here and we'll pick up those units. 
the hearth swarm we want. Let's just, uh, we'll bring them right there. There they go, that's their movement. We're, we're just holding fire on there for now. There's another place up there. Okay. I like this. It's like a cross between Civ and, um, well, an auto battler. I can't think of a, a specific example, to be honest, but I like it. It, feel, it feels good, you know? It feels like good production values. So here we've got three units, four units. So I can't, okay, so right clicking, I can actually look at these guys. They've got some crossbows and some fairly weak infantry. We'll look at our knights in here. They're still healing up, but they're probably strong enough to face down these guys. What's this one? They're a bit stronger. Maybe with these... That's an easy win. He reckons that's an easy win. Let's go for these, though. They look weaker. Wow, yeah. I mean, we ambushed these guys pretty well. <laughs> oh, no. Not my heart sworn. <laughs> ah. Let's get some more in this fight. Oh no, retreat! <laughs> you must live! Damn, that's so much for the hearth swarm. <laughs> I'll have to get some more. Okay, it's a shame they killed all the hearth swarm. As night falls over the battlefield, Hauser inspires his company with a heartfelt speech. Today's words will be remembered for years to come. Alright, Hauser. Well, I, honestly, I'd like to go back here. Oh, okay, that's our movement. But let's put up our tower. Let, ooh, yeah, let's do that here and we'll get some more... You know what? Uh, divine stuff, which seems good. And let's attack these guys. Need a bit of health up there by the look of it. Having to wait for the cards to charge is a bit sort of... Oh. We charge at their leader. They are slow, these guys, aren't they? That's a nice amount of XP, she almost leveled up again. Even though Lorelei has taken a heavy blow, she limps forward and cares for the wounded until everyone is patched up. The soldiers will remember this gesture. Okay, well, let's go back into the city. Oh, it said she had eight. I don't know. Maybe once they've battled, they can't move on. So, 
let's go and grab another load of these guys. Can't, definitely can't do more than one a turn. Let's go and put them in her army. Uh, we'll tell you what, we'll garrison them here so she's got them there. That's fine. What else, what else can we do in here? We could summon... Okay. Play to recruit a unit of acolytes of rights. Elite priests summoning celestials. We've already got one of those. Why don't we take... Let me take one of these. Uh, okay. Just like, come out. Go in. Take our hearth sworn. These, yeah. Hopefully those guys will regenerate. They've got like little, little healing things over them. Let's do these. So hopefully that works. Now, oh. We have to wait till next turn. I don't have enough divine left. Uh, we're at 7 out of 7 as well. I think probably I've got enough oath sworn. Might put these guys here. So they'll, they'll upgrade to one of these units. I could put a garrison of these guys in, couldn't I? We've got the money, so... Okay, she's going to be healing there. Um, Alza. You can only move that far. Alright, that's, that's that. There's like a little garrison and stuff building up here. Maybe we get more of... Yeah, maybe we get more of these guys. Um, so for our army... Let's use this now on these guys. There we go. Boom, so we've got a nice big pack of rampaging knights now. These Iron Sworn are different, aren't they? Oh, I've still got these guys as well. I thought it converted them, but actually, no. Let's have the strong knights on the flank. Um, quite a strong center now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I've still got seven, interestingly. Um... Maybe we'll have a bit of a reserve. Be more like that. Okay. Feels pretty good. And um, they're still healing, so I'm tempted to leave that another turn. But with these guys, maybe we'll come down and... Um, he says easy whim. So, let's see what that looks like. Oh, wow. Straight for our leader. Let's let's pop this there. They're doing reasonable damage. What are those? Like, oh, I can zoom in. Like, yeah, they're kind of. They're not spiders, but they're. Uh, Definitely of that ilk. Bloomling. Yeah, they're kind of like plant spiders. I don't think we... Well, we might as well. He's overcome his foes with a plum. That should be a level up. Looks like it. Feeling a rush of adrenaline, Hauser extends his hands to the stars. Today the gods have truly fought by his side. This definitely needs like a... 
you know, like in uh, other strategy games, we have like, you know, how many you killed, how many of yours got killed, even though they can regenerate. I suppose we could... Can we just right-click on our army? What's on your mind, my lady? Oh. You've lived this war for years, haven't you? I'm sure there's much to learn. No doubt about it. I'll elaborate later. Interesting. Okay, so what do we have here? Play this on a destroyed location. To, uh, okay. Maybe that's... That's a map card. Fine. Let's level up. That was a map card. So, yeah, let's level up Hauser. Affected friendly combatants become immune to damage and negative morale for six seconds. Fleeing units rally and reform. That seems pretty cool. Uh, affected friendly combatants explode on death for the next ten seconds. Each explosion hits close by enemies with power three attack. Increased for celestial units. An extra luminum. I think this one sounds pretty good. Immune to damage for six seconds. I mean, that's pretty good, right? Okay, what else has he got? So we've got this rebuild card. We can do that. So why don't we play that here? Got a little bit more of a... Yeah, like a little settlement going on here now. So I can't... I don't currently have the ability to recruit a garrison there. He's out of movement. See how the army's doing. Uh, uh, they're getting there. Maybe we should attack someone though. Mm -hmm. Let's do this one first. easy. Don't think we lost any units. Battle for the history books, apparently. Well, that's level three, right? Oh, so let's level up Laurel. Hang on, hang on. Let's level up Lorelei. Uh, call reserves, new card. Uh, call a random unit from your army reserves. I still do Well, now that we're at full strength, I could actually get reserves going, couldn't I? Or we could get a fort in a friendly location. Gets more fortified. Or we could upgrade this. Increasing the power of that card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's upgrade this card. So what's this one? Pillage. I don't. I don't want a pillage. Do we want a pillage? How do we know the prosperity level? Where does it say? The bar. Prosper okay, so the level is its prosperity level. Okay. They're not healing here, interestingly. But she's out of movement for now. Okay, well, I guess it's our turn. So we could attack them with Hauser. Oh no, he's all the way down here. I 
Okay, well, let's bring him down here to do this if it's like a random encounter or something. Hey, over here! On the edge of Grunau Forest, a boisterous kobold is waving his wooden sword with reckless abandon. His eyes bulging with imagined riches, the little scamp turns around to greet his visitors. Hey there, I'm Pip, adventurer extraordinaire. At least, that's what I'd like to be, one day. But first, I need to prove myself. Keep this on the down low, okay? Well, I'm on a top secret quest for the mythical singing stone. I really hope I'm up to the challenge. You think I can do it, don't you? <laughs> How interesting. <laughs> well, I must leave if that's all. Great. I really appreciate the help. We'll start in Grunau Forest. See you there. How strange. Okay. I just wanted to go in. I didn't necessarily want to move there, but... Okay, so they are healing now. It's a friendly location. Uh, it's only level one prosperity. He could do with another unit, couldn't he? Um, can we recruit this turn? Oh, 45 Divine Aid, yeah, okay. Hmm. Uh, let's play Lorelei first. Could make another realm guard thing. Oh, can I? Where am I, Hearthsworn? Maybe they did turn into them. It seemed like they should. I haven't lost any units numerically. Let's go with that for now, just to kind of bolster me for the next fight. Because we're going to fight these guys. Alright, we've got to charge, yeah, we've got to charge at this uh, siege unit. Here's your first lesson about this war. Once, Friedland and Elben were allies. But then, four generations ago, Friedland's eastern lands were consumed by silence. So people began migrating west. Food was short, and tempers even shorter. Yeah, so there's actually eight units there. That's going to be quite a big fight, isn't it? Wouldn't mind going and grabbing another one we can turn into uh, elite knight units. Probably need a bit more divine code going as well. We don't have a lot.
these guys again. I think maybe we go... Mm, actually, I don't want my Hearthsworn to die like they did this time. Let's just go in before we go and grab them. Made them immune to damage for a few seconds. Quite well. Wow, that, that was good. <laughs> oh, he's going to have zero movement units now, right? Silence devoured Friedland bit by bit. And where silence falls, war is never far behind. Indeed, milady. Our prospects are grim. I used to think the gods had a plan. Now I'm not so sure. These are desperate times. Okay, well that's probably our turn, because we want... We want them kind of healing up here. I want to go and grab a Hearthsworn and bring them up. Um, yeah, okay, let's do that. not saying easy win for that. But what about these guys? Yeah, let's let's get them with the heavy infantry and cavalry. Let's get the main guy with our charge. cavalry charge on these guys. That was a bit of a harder fought battle. You can tell by the sort of victory I text. King Atran's father from when I was little. He was a kind man. A good man. Just like father. His wisdom is sorely missed these days, my lady. So they're retreating, but we could, I think we... I think we can attack them again. And just, you know, try and... Try and wipe them out. But let's pick up our... Hearthsworn first. I'll keep them reasonably towards the back, because I don't want them to die again. What else have we got here? What is it? Five out of five now. I'll recruit another one. We don't have any more space to play on him. Uh, but let's... Let's go and finish these guys off. Shouldn't be too hard. There he goes. So I think that was a, a proper enemy general. Houses a sheep. Okay, 
it. You can't play it in one that you've already played it in. That's, I mean, that's fair enough, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's, that's basically our turn, isn't it? So let's end that. So let's go and give them a hearth swarm. Let's move them into reserves. And these guys come here, and then we're going to promote them. We can leave them in that kind of formation. That seems okay. And let's go back in the city. We'll heal up a little bit. We took some losses. Yeah, we can see our knights are kind of healing up still. The ones in reserves do too. Yeah, we just need to get our numbers back up probably for a couple of turns. Play to recruit a catapult. Interesting. That's interesting. I, I can maybe get rid of one of these. Oh, we, you know, we won't get rid of. But we'll put them in reserve, perhaps. Why do we recruit one of these priest units? We can then summon summon stuff to help us out. And they're going to help the regeneration as well. Yep. So I might even have them at the back. So when we leveled up the first time, we got a, a larger... Bat, uh, a larger army. We didn't the second time, interestingly. Okay, so she's going to heal up there. He could do with another unit. Maybe come here. So we don't have the Divine to recruit those things, but we could give them a Hearth Sworn. What do the Acolytes of Wrath do? It's like a ranged attacker. Okay. Oh, I keep doing that. It doesn't say that's an easy win, interestingly. Now come there, because we're using quite a lot of divine resource, why don't we put one of those there? And that little hamlet's going <laughs> to have one of these divine towers. Um, and this army, we're just resting for a bit. Oh, there's another one coming. So the capital city is spawning these these units fairly regularly. How are we doing? Not too bad actually. We, we we've got we're a few down on them. Uh, but what we can do we can swap those into the garrison. Yeah, these are very basic units, aren't they? Uh, and let's attack... Hmm. I think we should attack them first and then siege the garrison over there.
it's going to be over before I can really do anything particularly special. On there. just have a lot on my mind lately. So I think because we got the priest now, she doesn't have to be in in a city to be healing. That just seems to be happening while we're out and about. So that's good. That's very good. Um, as for this guy... I don't know. I think I think he should he should he should be around here just to help with these sort of spawning units. Is this only level one. Give him a, we could give him a reserve. Maybe instead of the hearth swarm, we leave her in garrison. Give him a, a catapult. And Lorelei's army. Let's bring that there. We've got another half sworn in there now. Maybe we can get rid of our sort of weaker cavalry and uh, have three sort of really good heavy elite cavalry. God, they've got another one of these coming now. Alright, so let's do that. Half Sworn here. So the Iron Sworn, which are considerably weaker than these guys. Uh, let's let's have them in reserve. These guys we'll have here and we'll upgrade. I put them in reserve as well. They're not that good. Quite a lot of heavy units now. Why? Yeah, so we can add. We could hey, maybe add uh, like a cat, like a. What did I do? It's supposed to be. Uh, maybe if I come out, come back in. Why is that oath sworn? That should have been. Star Shower Catapult. Unless I clicked on that one by accident, which I might have done. Uh, I'd have to watch that back, but we can... We'll, have, we'll wait a turn then. Let's go and get these ones. Silence is spreading fast. 
faster and faster. Now that the Crusade controls purgatories, it'll only get worse. Right. Level up. Okay, so we've seen the Fortify card. We could upgrade that to get a couple more gold. We're getting quite a good amount of gold each turn. Uh, cool reserves there. That might be good because we do have reserves now. Yeah, I don't think that would go particularly well. You're saying that's an easy win. Let's go and fight this swarm and see what that's like. Who are they shooting? These guys. Let's make them immune to damage for a little bit. Yeah, these... Catapults are pretty good. I should have get another one of those next turn. <laughs> Does sound like they took a heavy beating, but I don't think they did. Alright, that'll do. I want one of those siege weapons. So let's this oath swan put in reserve. Definitely getting one of these. Yeah, there we go. Cool. I want to be ready for next turn, so let's come up there. Like I said, we don't need to be in the city to heal. I'm not quite sure what to do with Hauser. Um, I guess similar. Anything that's kind of recruited and tries to get through, we'll, we'll just deal with. Uh, so we'll end that for now. Oh, here they come. We'll let Hauser deal with those, maybe. Alright, let's do Hauser on them. Suggesting I'm in the way. Okay. Let's uh, let's do this first then. Lay siege. We haven't done that before. It's gonna end in a turn. Okay, they're just sieging for now. Not much more we can do. But Hauser, we can sort of smash into these. He's not saying easy whim, interestingly. Well, let's see. group I think and we can make them immune to damage for a little bit there we go they ran away yay level three you haven't told me much about your new liege Hauser King Atron has never known peace so even though they retreated because they had nowhere to retreat to they, they've actually been destroyed with all my might Sometimes. I'm sure he appreciates it. Father always did. Yeah, yeah we, lost, we lost one of those. Let's, let's recruit more. Um, he's also, I guess he must just be very small amount off level 3 because he hasn't got a level up card. Alright, let's do the siege. See, because we're besieged, they're having to go around a different way. just the city. You can see what the garrison is though, which is kind of cool. Uh, so what do we do? Do we attack? Yeah, 
I'm hoping the siege weapons don't have friendly fire. Call some reserves. I don't know quite what that did. Oh, do they have to cut? Okay, I was telling them where to go. Fair enough. Sweet. Okay, didn't lose any armies. That's good. There's something I need you to know. Something about the king. I, no, I cannot. Whatever's on your mind, there's no need for haste. Tell me whenever you are ready. Thank you, milady. Do we want to pillage? I don't know that we do particularly. Uh, we can maybe put in this that will give them a one of them, and we could prop Can we put one of those? We could put one of those there too. Oh, oh, no, 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 it is, a, it is an addition as well. I thought it was replacing. Oh, maybe it did replace it. That was a bit dumb then. I thought you could have both, but you can only have one, like, perk. Fair enough, well, that's good knowledge. Um, they're healing up for now, that makes sense. We'll let them do that for a little bit. A Jaeger unit. Elite crossbow hunters. Well, oh, I quite like that. I quite like that. Um, well, let's bring them in here and then we'll check them out. Oh, they attack at high range. Well, I mean, it sounds like they're an upgrade on my, my basic archers. So I guess I'll put them in the, the reserve. Let's take the crossbows for now. They can attack higher range and they do more damage by the look of it. The double, double damage, actually. Yeah, okay, well, we're definitely taking them. Uh, oh, we can recruit archers here too. Well, we already have a, some of them there. Cool. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I think we'll leave it there for now. It feels like we've been playing for a decent amount of time, but I really like this. I think if you're into 4X games, you know, it feels uh, like a, an obvious kind of uh, niche to fit in there, but also with the auto battler stuff, but you can drop down abilities to help the battle with, make it more tactical than a lot of auto battlers. Um, I, I, this, I mean, this feels really good. I mean, it feels good to play uh, and it, it's got some good ideas. And I mean, the graphics are great music's great nothing nothing to not enjoy there i think um, but thanks very much for watching uh in terms of when this is released uh, i'm not sure uh, the, i've checked the steam page and it just says coming soon but i mean even for for an early demo this feels very polished to me be sure to check it out uh, I, i'm not sure if it's going to be around after steam next fest is finished so you might want to get on that if you want to check it out in the next few days um, but I'll just say thanks very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this, as I hope you did, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be great. If you could leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the game and, you know, anything you saw today, that'd be great. And uh, if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, um, it'd be wonderful if you could do so. So thanks very much once again, and I hope to see you elsewhere on Boring Dad Gaming for other games, other playthroughs. Bye for now.